hello beautiful family how are you all doing thank you for the love the maximum support i just can't thank you enough so my beautiful people today i have come again you trust progress the analyst no leave no transfer i will give it to you back to back i will give it to you the way you want it <laughs> so biafra liberation army just sent a message to governor soludo of anabra state and some politicians in nigeria see i don't want to listen to this word alone i want you to be part of it so that you get updated of what is happening so listen to him and i'll be right back please please i don't want to lose beer france i need to see my people jubilating happy on the day biafra we eh? biafra we come who say biafra will not come who say biafra will not come is making a mistake because most most of, most of our brothers and sisters don't know the don't know the meaning of Biafra for ourselves, because the the Nigeria deceived them to this time around, and for you to revise their brain to reason up to to think and go and read history, you understand? It's very very strong because most of them, <laughs> they are not even ready. So and it's not much that you must. Uh, join Biafra, even though Biafra come, you are free to join Zoo, you understand? Because some people are thinking that yeah, we are forcing everybody. If you want to join Zoo, you are free to join Nigeria. Nigeria. Even Biafra come today, you don't want to be, a, if you don't want to be a Biafra, you, you are free, 100% free to go and join Nigeria. So, we are not forcing you. But what we are telling you is that as long as you are in Biafra land, be you Nigeria, be you US, whoever you are, and you are living in Biafra land, any day you hear, sit at home. You must obey that one because it's our land, we have the order, we have the right to order you to sit at home. So, but if you are living in Nigeria, so you are free to go your normal business. So if you want to even leave the Biafra land, if you want to leave Biafra land for us and go to Nigeria and join them, you are free to go there. You understand? So I don't know the reason why some of you, we we be making it to look as if we are forcing you. We are not forcing you, my brothers and sisters. We are only making it to be easier. We are only making it for you to understand what you need to do and what you're supposed to be doing. You understand me? So you guys to try understand what we mean and what we are trying, trying to tell you. So my way, my point is going in line is that don't use because... You, maybe you are not supporting Biafra. Maybe you are not even interested about Biafra. And you will say that one did not concern you that you want to come out. My brother, I'm begging you. That you speak Igbo does not mean that you are that no mean that does not does not mean that you are a Biafra no. Yeah, you understand me? That you are speaking Igbo does not mean that you are a Biafran. That you are speaking Biafra language does not mean that you are a Biafran. If I see you any day, Biafra government order you to sit at home and you came out by your own power because you want to come out. Because you want to test, because you want to see those people that are calling your friend liberation. If you want to see us, drive to our location. If you don't want to come here, you go to Okigwe. If you don't want to go to Okigwe, go to Were. Go and see our man. If you want to see them, even though you are a governor, uh, if you are uh, all these uh, Igbo representative in Nigeria now and they want to come and see where we are, you are free to come. Nobody worries you. Even if you can come here and say, Baron, hey, I want to come and visit your barrack, I will happily welcome you. I will even serve you drink if we have drink. If we have water, I will serve you. What we have is what I will offer you. You understand? I will welcome you. And that the problem you people are having is that you don't even trust yourself. Because most of you have committed sin to the extent that it, even if you are seeing your mother, it will, it will, you will be thinking that your mother will attack you. You understand? Yes, because if you are a good person, you will not be afraid of going to any place. You will not be afraid of uh, coming to visit us or whatever. Eh? Even if uh, as a whole puts out the mad den and he fit to, uh, okay, dear France, please, dear France Liberation Army, please, I am coming to so day to visit us, to visit you people. We will welcome you. If you like, carry your escort, come. As long as you are coming for peace, we will give you peace. It's only when we will attack is when you are coming for war. Even if you like, you and you are a Soludo or a Boy State governor. I don't even know who they made it, but that side, man, who Nigeria people give them. I don't know because I don't want to even know. If you decide to say, oh, I want to come and see this Biafra Liberation Army, I want to speak with them. I want to really know what they want. I want to really know whether, what, uh, whether they will listen to me. You are free to come and we welcome you. If you don't know who to call, call me. Yes, call me and I will, I will direct you, you come. As long as you are coming to, to, for business, as long as you are coming to settle with us, to speak with us, like you are a hope, hope you are a politician, you want to, to, to visit Barak here, you know where we are, go and ask Nigeria Army. Go and ask Nigeria Army, if you don't want to ask us how, come. Yes, me is telling you to come. We welcome you. As long as you are free, as long as you, you are hoping in your mind that you want to support Biafra, that you are ready to support Biafra, but you don't know how you made it publicly. You don't know how you come out publicly to say to Nigeria government that uh, you are no more with them and you want to come and see us. If you like, carry your escort and come. If you can come alone, come. The problem about you people is that you are even afraid of yourself. 
Yes, because you are even afraid of your own picking you born because you are a bad person. All of you call yourself governor, senators, uh, all these people. Where are they? I don't even know why to mention their name because if I'm mentioning those, those things, it, it got me angry easily. And I want to focus on what I'm doing. If you want to visit us, Biafra Liberation Army, say you are a governor, even a Tunubu, Tunubu, you, if you are free to come and visit us, yes. Say you want to come and see Biafra Liberation Army, Tunubu, you are free to come. Nobody worries you. When once you made us to be aware that you are coming, so that we will tell our men to free you to come in. You can drive and come into our barrack and relax yourself. We offer you cheer, offer you, if we have drink, we offer you drink. If we have food, we offer you food. Anything we have, we offer you to eat. And relax and discuss with us and tell us what brought you. Because if you are going to person house, something must br uh, brought you to the person house. You tell us, if we accept your your request, we do it. If you don't, uh, we, we don't accept it, we tell you that this one, we don't accept it. Maybe you go and rethink. You understand? Yes. So maybe some of you will say, hey, I really want to make peace with these people, but I don't know how to do it. We, we are free. We are always welcome. Even our enemy will welcome you. Even if you are our enemy, we welcome you. Only when we treat you badly, only when we do you bad, then is that when you are coming and you are coming to fight us. But once you are coming to speak with us, to discuss with us, you are a man, we are a man. We have all of us are human beings. We will discuss one on one. You understand me? So don't think, don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of uh, anything that will harm you or whatever that will attack you, that we are going to hold you, we are not allowed you to go. No, we don't behave that. We don't behave that way. Ask Soludo. During the time we catch Soludo, Soludo came here and he tell us, Soludo, ask Soludo, this person that is a governor of uh, Anambra State, and ask him. Soludo came to uh, Soludo the day, but Soludo only was that. Uh, he tried to, you know, to do any anyhow. He came to our barrack. We relieve him to go. You understand? Hmm? Ask Soludo. Soludo, Soludo, no. But today, Soludo is not doing big ball. He's not claiming that he's strong enough. Soludo is not claiming that he's a strong man. Soludo is not claiming that he's not a dimpa. He's not a ogak. Soludo. Eh? Pay Soludo to come. Whoever don't want to visit the Afro Liberation Army, you are free. Be you who? You are free to come. So don't think that uh, because uh, you are a governor and, uh, and you are afraid to come. So you people are free to come and visit us anytime, any moment. So don't be afraid. Even if you, you are a, even if you are a Nigerian army and you are ready to make peace with us, you can come and say, the Afro Liberation Army, eh, please, you people should forgive me. I have understand myself now that I'm fighting for, for I'm fighting on necessary fights. Yes, you understand that kind of a thing. We will understand you and welcome you and say, okay, forgive because we are a child of God. We don't kill uh, people. We don't kill those that ask for forgiveness because God said that we should forgive those that uh, offend us and apologize and we should forgive, uh, forgive them. We will forgive you and welcome you and bless you and lay hands upon you and bless you so that that evil spirit of Nigeria will get out of your body and will free you, go your way. We can even give you, prote we can even protect you. You go, your, uh, stay in your house and do your normal business. But any day you are coming to our barrack and you hope in your mind that you are coming to fight us, yes, we will fight you back. Because it's what, what you came with is what we will give you back. If you came in peace, we give you peace. If you came in peace, we welcome you in peace. If you came in with the fight, we welcome, we welcome you with the fight now. We actually give you what you deserve, what you want. What you want is what we will give you. You understand? So you people should not think that uh, maybe you are a governor and you are afraid to visit us. Or you don't know how to speak with us. Come. We welcome everybody. We welcome both uh, the Tunubu self. We welcome everybody. If, even though you are a Nigerian, we welcome you. Okay. After this video, there is a video we, uh, we post. This video I want to post is a, a video whereby is an example to what normally happens to Nigerian each time they come work for here. For those of you that, that we pay, that we go to, uh, that we go and join Nigerian to come to fight us. So I will post the video so that you will see example of what normally happened to them, for, to those that normally came here, to those that have come here. So if you are joining them to come, or you are preparing to join them to come, or you are among of those they have selected to come for this election, so that you will know what is about to happen to you if you come. You understand? I am not saying, some people will think that maybe I'm just lamenting. I'm just making some points, some points. Maybe you will not like what I'm saying. It's not more that you like what I'm saying, but at least if you, are a, if you have sense, you will pick one or two things from my talk. And join it for the one you know so far, and counterbalance and check and cross check and balance the equation. Hmm? And know what to do for your life, for the sake of your life. Me, Baron the Gentle Lion, is telling you today that 
if you are a Nigerian army, or Nigerian navy, or Nigerian police, or Nigerian air force, or Nigeria DSS, or Nigeria civil defense, or Nigeria Ebubago, or Nigeria uh, what is it called? Uh, Nigeria civil defense, or safety, all of them, all the whole security Nigeria have. Hear me and hear me clearly. Go in anywhere you want to go and verify whether you are fighting a right fight before you come. Because the problem you will even have is that even if you die, for those of you that believe in heaven, you will not even go to heaven because of fight or fair war and die. Right? I did not join this struggle to play with anybody. I did not join this struggle to play with anybody. I did not join this struggle to laugh with anybody. I came here to defend my land. And this land I must defend. And this land I must defend. Be you my father. Be you my mother. Be you my sister. Be you my uncle. Be you my child. Be you my son. Be you my whoever you want to be. Be very, very careful with me. Because if my hand catch you, if my hand catch you, you see this election that I want to do? This election, it will chop innocent people away. And especially our people. Especially our Igbo brothers. Because they do love money. And because of 5,000 naira, you might lose your life this time around. Because of 1 million naira, they just transfer to you and say, Hey, my brother, arrange boys for me. Let's do election. After election, I will give you work. Work care. Work care. No, they will come down and transfer 1 million naira to your account. Imagine somebody that has been receiving dollars, dollars, dollars from uh, Nigeria. Putting it in his own account. After how much is 1 million naira? In dollar, convert it in an seed. It's very small money. Change you. It's, it's change. They will just say, hey, my brother, hey, hi, long time. They will see you driving Corolla. Hey, they will tell you, my brother, are you still driving this your Corolla? Hey, are you still driving this your Corolla? Don't worry. Okay. Take this one million. Arrange boys for me. After election, I will buy you Benz. And I will still give you 10 million after that. And give you work. Hey, you will say, Jesus. Hey, this man want to bless me. You will go and begin to arrange boys. You will use the same one million that they give to you. As a foolish man, as a stupid man, as an idiotic man you are. And you begin to tell your village people and buy salt and buy a. Do you think you, we, we don't know what you people are doing? Or do you think. See, let me tell you, we know everything. You go and gather boys in your village, gather them, gather them, and tell them, hey, this man is a very good man. This man is doing wonderful. This man, eh, he, he will give us this. He promised us to give us this. He promised us to build this. That if we will support him, that you are going to be there and make sure that he must do that to us. After that, my brother. That one million that they give you, you will spend it arranging boys, abiders, and dashing people to come and vote for him. After voting, you know, that, jam, all of them will disappear. If you call them, they will tell you, their PA will tell you, he's busy, he'll get back to you. He don't dare so long, they enjoy himself. He will forget you. Have you ever think, after deceiving your own brothers and your sisters and your mothers and your own people to vote for that person, and then came out in the name of time to vote, and then die in the process, and later on, that person that you have, you have, you have gathered people for did not win. Have you ever asked yourself that? God will punish you for making those people to come out. God will suffer you for making innocent people to come out, for deceiving them. Because it's not because he deceived them. Because people they normally use is people that village people are listening to. They will gather them and bring them out in the name of coming to vote. A woman that, a woman that is... that bring us to the end of this update do it to like the video share and subscribe thank you and bye bye